to the vlog, welcome to Volus Vibes, welcome to our life, welcome to me just throwing away some plastic bottles. I don't know why I started the vlog with that, but I've seen the nuts. They cleaned the entire river the other day, and all the way down the end, there's a tree that has fallen as well. There as well. But that one they already cleaned up, you know, so you don't see it that well anymore. But yeah, the entire river is clean. I was not even here for the river. It's just nice to see it from a distance sometimes. Anyway, right now we're going to the pharmacy across the street for a second, because Jason is sick. Well, sick, yeah. He's got the... he's got a cold. No, we're not gonna stick this in our baby. Well, in a way we are, but... Oh, I hate this needle. So weird that you for 20 cents just can, uh, can buy a needle like this. The tip comes off. And now we've got some sodium chloride at home which is just salt water pretty much. You can also drip, drip it into your eyes if you want to. If you have, uh, it's like it's like fake tears, you know? And then you use this stuff to suck it up from the little valve that we have injected in Jason's nose. So he will clean his nose because the baby does not know how to do or, or stuff like that, you know? So Ilona feels so bad because she was the one that started with like a runny nose. And I told her like, keep away from him as much as possible. Uh, tell me whenever I should do something. Just as difficult for a mom to stay away from your baby as well. And then and together with all like the people coming over the last couple of days. It's a little bit much maybe. Let's see how he's doing. Hello. How are you Hello. doing, mister? Oh look at you. Really running nose now, huh? It's running out of your nose now. Oh. Oh mama didn't see that yet. No, I didn't. You thought you were kissing him on wet lips? Yeah. <laughs> I got a syringe for you. Thank you. Oh, that's huge. And the food was still not good. They didn't have a small one. I made food this morning. Usually Ilona makes food this morning, but she said there's still chunks in there, so... Yes, there were chunks in there yet. Mm. Sorry, babe. It's okay. They didn't have a small one. No, that's what they had. It's okay. Mm. Hi, Hi. Oh, Hi. yay. <coughs> oh, yay. Oh, yay. Everywhere. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's discuss this for a second. I don't know what to do. The doctor said in a 45 degree angle you go backwards with your towels. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't want to do that. Jason. But it had to be that powerful. Yes. He went through his nose. Yes, that's what we should do. <laughs> Mister, we're eating good. Situation has calmed down a little bit first. Last night, Ilona, or last afternoon actually, Ilona gave him for the first time in his life uh, chicken. So he has had eat, has eaten meat for the first time in his life. Actually, not chicken, but a uh, young chicken, like not kotopolo, but kotopulaiki. Anyway, a small chicken. He loved it. Also, then Grisula came over, and she's scared without wanting to, and we feel very bad for Grisula, but also of course for her son. She's scared the living s out of. Jason, I've got it on video. Oh, that's a nice taste. It's a very nice free run chicken. A very free chicken. It was until we killed it and put it in your food. Yes. No, just kidding. You don't understand it, luckily. Is it tasty? We like broccoli. Yeah, because in all honesty, where he's now eating potatoes, carrots, and bro bro broccoli, and chicken. All in one mixture, and he is loving it. Um. 
best thing in the world. I'm sorry, people, but this is the best thing in the world. If you're disgusted <laughs> by other people eating, I'm sorry, but this is the best thing in the world. <laughs> we got rid of one distraction thing, now we have another one. We have the bowl. That's we the have best everything. The bowl is the best distraction. We yeah. want the entire bowl and we want it now in our face. We want to eat it all. Um, we want to eat it all, mom. You will eat it all, I hope. Kita? That's enough, my brother. I'm a mama. 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 Wat kijk je sipjes? Wat kijk je sipjes? Why are you so sad? No, because daddy makes you happy. I got that. I almost broke the table, not for fun. <laughs> they say I'm Hazo Baba. I don't think so. <laughs> Mama was sad. Jason was sad. <laughs> Capoeira. Van voor naar achter, van links naar rechts. Van voor naar achter, van links naar rechts. <laughs> Mama is also loud, but Mama thinks what a stupid guy I am. <sighs> Dude, it's all about your smile. Uh, Kickaboo! <laughs> yeah, Kickaboo! I've been hanging out the laundry usually inside. No, I say it wrong. I have been hanging the laundry a lot of times lately inside on the rack and I'm putting the rack outside because it's not warm outside, neither is it very cold. But I like to walk with a t-shirt outside, but I don't like to stand still for a long time outside. I've got a double feeling though lately of this entire... Uh... Jason, by the way, is finally sleeping in the back a little bit. He's eating by, with his mom. He does not eat very well. I've got a double feeling of putting things outside after the thing that I've learned that actually since 2016, or 2000, no, since 2017, the I yet about the video from Monday, the cement factory has already been burning 200,000 tons of RDF garbage in their uh, cement kilns. So now every time when it smells outside, like, I don't know, tired or something, they say, oh no, it's just people that are, their fireplaces, they're burning some other stuff in there. But I get the feeling that it's not just people that are burning the fireplace. They're not helping with the problem. It's nice and luxurious, of course, a fireplace. I don't know if it's so safe anymore to put my stuff outside to dry. I don't know if I should stay in Volus because of this factory. And alone is actually when I told her and showed her the stories about this entire thing and now that he's getting sick, <coughs> I mean, I would not want to have it more often. I now have something in my throat though. <coughs> I'm gonna quickly run out because uh, I gotta do some other things. First of all, get something for Jason that has not been sleeping, by the way. It's meanwhile, since the morning that we started vlogging around like 10 o'clock, it is right now half past five and you're unstoppable, right? You have only slept today for like half an hour and you should be sleeping two hours at least in the daytime. And you're, listen. You will see, when you grab the camera you cannot show it really well, but he's literally like breathing through his mouth more than actually through his nose. Super sunshiny day, I did not go out anyway, so I'm happy to go out for a second just because it's good. And I'm sorry for Ilona because Ilona's almost into tears because it's very difficult. Probably it's this... 
you saw that I almost knocked off my glasses. Probably this is like a weird all over the place vlog. I knew I was forgetting something. I told you though, and I'm like, I'm forgetting something. And what am I forgetting? Yeah, I forgot it. Not my phone, not my wallet, not my keys. Because my parents came yesterday, uh, the gate thing key for the gate. Left it inside. Oh. Usually it's laying in the car to open it up, but. And now I'm forgetting my keys to get back inside the house. This vlog is going to be all over the place today, people. This is what I needed. Otherwise I cannot leave the house, can I? You also what I forgot now that I saw when I walked outside. Mm -hmm. What? No, no, no. I walked back from the car inside here and then I'm like, where's my bicycle? And yesterday I went to the supermarket by bicycle and I thought I came on foot when I walked out of the supermarket again. So I probably left my bicycle at the supermarket last night. It is unbelievable, people! Oh, really unbelievable. Let me drive away and I'll tell you all about it because there's a car waiting for me. Never mind. Nice, traffic lights. Okay, so the thing is that I was about to pick up a package for a second and the paper that came was uh, already it came the day before yesterday. Yesterday was the 20th. The day before yesterday was the 19th. The date on the paper that was written was 20. So literally the day before yesterday, the paper had the date of the next day already on it. And then they say the next day you can pick it up after that day. So today I could pick it up officially. So I, I literally waited. Now this guy says, ah, the things from yesterday, they have not come yet. I said, yeah, but this letter was from the day before yesterday that I actually picked it up. This, the Elta is making a big, big mess there. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, we're gonna have a green light. So I'll put the camera down again. We're going to pursue it. Hello. Hello. How are you doing with you? Eh? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? As you know, of course, Chrysula got scared like shitless yesterday, literally. I'm going to be like this now. I'm going to be like this. We are not into medicines or something, uh, but this is just some calcium for Ilona because she's not drinking any milk. Uh, so that's just good for Jason as well. Some nose spray for me because of uh, an allergy that I started to have since I grew up. And this is just simple sodium chloride to wash out Jason's nose. Oh yeah, and a, and a syringe again, because this one is a little bit smaller, so. <sighs> Elta again, again back to the post office. Nah, okay, let's try it for the second time here. They're still open at least because also these uh, usually the post office downtown is open pretty much all day. This one is only the times for the normal stores actually. I have no idea anymore what Elon has ordered, but uh, I think it has something to do with Jason maybe. I don't know. eBay. Elon is all about eBay. Who's crying so much? Look, this is all for you, mister. Be happy now. Do you actually still remember what you ordered? No. What's Alcohol that? at the center. Silicon what? For the pop socket thingies. Not pop, pop socket? socket. For him... Uh... For popsicles? Pop yeah, we're gonna make... Because we found out in summer, of course, if he's teething, like now, for example, that's also why he's like in this situation. Looking at me, uh, we're gonna make popsicles because it helps with just fresh fruit and some water and then he can just suck on it and he doesn't, we're not gonna try to give him sugar for the first no. two years, so and these are like balls, right? Balls on a stick, balls on a stick, but like silicon balls on a stick. Yeah. Yes. Look at, this. Look at this boy. Ah. Hey. I yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, you ordered more clothes for him. Oh, that's huge. It's gonna go to first grade with these clothes. If you think I'm cute, you should see my mommy. Wrong, you should see my daddy. <laughs> they didn't have it in, that, in your size. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you're gonna wear that in three years. Because it's no, huge. Come on. Put it on him, for example. Just let's check how big it is. <laughs> It's a blanket. <laughs> it's literally a blanket. So what? <laughs> this vlog turns out weird, but I think this weird this day is even weirder. So I don't know. I feel so sorry for you, boy. We're gonna fix your nose because you're gonna eat now. Okay. We saw already in this morning how that went with like fixing his nose. He just finished his food. He finished his food. He ate already. Not for afternoon. The stuff that we had from the noon. Ah. 
There's this super nice puppy down our street, a little bit further from down our street towards the supermarket. Very nice husky with like bright blue eyes, but well, it's dark, so you cannot see it and you can barely see me right now. I'm walking to the supermarket to check if my bicycle is still there because uh, last time I left my bicycle somewhere overnight, my tires got stolen. And I'm afraid that my bike gets stolen this time, so let's see. And it's all because I thought I came on foot, but I came by bicycle, but it's still there, luckily. Nice. Both my tires are still on there, my bicycle is still standing there. My luck in Greece, uh, or my faith in Greece has been a little bit restored. Just kidding, uh, that's bullshit. <laughs> But still, I, I hate it when my tires get stolen or my bike would get stolen. If it's not yours, don't touch it. That's what I always got taught. Anyway, back home, back to Ilona, to a cup of coffee. When I picked up my bike, it was just seven o'clock, quarter to 10. We just gave Jason a bath. We rinsed his nose again and he's crying in the back again. He's, he's now eating with Ilona, but I said I was gonna make a coffee, but I have a better solution for this, I think. Because my parents were so kind to take a nice bottle of wine from Serbia, Kratosija. I don't know, it's I don't know if it's a nice wine. I liked it, so I drink it. And my dad also in Serbia got Slivovica. Slivovica. I don't know what it exactly is, but it's from prunes and it's like it's a liquor from prunes. I'm not that much into strong liquors, except for Cipro. That's something that I do like to drink, but uh, and some buka I used to drink as well. But I think that's something like Cipro, I don't know exactly. But before I'm gonna drink from that glass, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. I need to help out Ilona first, so uh, because I'm, I think I'm gonna like rock him a little bit and walk through, walk around the house. We've got this ritual of turning off the lights around the house, and we didn't do it yet, so we're gonna do that right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope to see you in tomorrow's vlog. If you like this vlog, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below because I love to read them and we always reply. We thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Three, Bye. Jump.